2019, the media dishonestly portrays the Covington Catholic students as racist bigots because one of them smirked. In 2020, the media dishonestly portrays Kyle Rittenhouse as a racist bigot and murderer. Turns out it was all lies again. Now in 2023, the media once again dishonestly portrays an eight-year-old kid at a football game as a white supremacist. What did you expect? Hello and welcome back. If any of this seems very familiar to you, that's because we've been through this media playbook several times now. In fact, I attended the Antifa protest at Covington Catholic School and made a video, which you can check out here later. So this eight-year-old kid innocently dresses up as his favorite team's mascot, just as thousands of people have done before him. And this total scumbag asshole of a reporter at Deadspin, a literal Karen, Karen Phillips, who's also the senior editor of Deadspin, post an intentionally deceptive picture of this kid so he can call him a racist white supremacist. It's that media deception meme in real life. Literally. <laughs> Literally. 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 Did I mention that this reporter has a very documented history of hating white people? I'll tell you all about it right after I tell you about this opportunity to secure your retirement and get a free silver coin while you're at it. Are you new to investing and do you have savings that need protecting? Right now with the Middle East war, the Ukraine war, and maybe Taiwan very soon, you need a playbook that safe. Allocate some gold right now and avoid the frenzy panic of the unprepared. Let's hear from actual Noble Gold Investments customers. Customers. The staff answered all my questions and helped me every step of the way. No pressure sales tactics, just honest guidance. Securing my future is less stressful thanks to Noble Gold's expertise. So don't settle for financial uncertainty. They'll suggest options and see if you can diversify into gold and silver. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free 5 ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless five-star reviews. So why wait? Let's get started right now. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. All right, so this chud of a reporter, Karen Phillips, released this picture of the eight-year-old boy at a football game dressed in a Chiefs headdress at a Kansas City Chiefs football game with the headline, the NFL needs to speak out about the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface native headdress. They're doubling down on the racism. Are you going to say anything, Roger Goodell? What the fuck is this piece of shit? All right, so I have a few questions. Who is doubling down on racism and where's the racism? Why would a kid dress in blackface with a Chiefs headdress on? It's clearly just in support of the team. And this guy's supposed to be a sports editor. But no, it's a white kid. That's how Deadspin knows that he's up to something nefarious. Except a non-deceptive picture shows that the kid's face was painted in the team's colors. Again, like probably millions of fans have done over the decades. Wait a second, I think I finally just noticed what's going on here. It's different when this kid does it because he's smirking and we know how they all feel about white guys smirking. Blame that f***ing kid. What a little crap. <laughs> Smirk face. I do not get what Catholic priests see in these kids. The reaction was swift, causing Karen to respond on Twitter X saying, for the idiots in my mentions who are treating this as some harmless act because the other side of his face was painted red, I could make the argument that it makes it even worse. What? Those are literally the team's colors and literally millions of people do the exact same thing. Y'all are the ones who hate Mexicans, but wear sombreros on Cinco. I can't keep up. Who hates Mexicans? Who's wearing sombreros? Oh, right, he just hates white people. No, seriously, just look at this feed. I highlighted a few of his posts in a Twitter post, which you can find a link for in the description and pinned comment, but it just goes on and on. This guy is constantly complaining about white people. As N. Wokeness pointed out, his entire agenda at Deadspin seems to be demonizing whites. Are you a white person enjoying football? Racist, that is white supremacy. White people in Flint, Michigan? <laughs> that 
That's concerning. That right there is unreal. Do you think that any white reporter could ever get away with saying that he was worried about black people being in a certain area and that it was concerning? No, you idiot! At the time of editing this video, Deadspin still hasn't commented, and I wouldn't plan on them doing so because they probably hired this guy to do exactly what he's doing. However, it could prove to be an expensive smear job because this seems to be a pretty clear-cut case of defamation. Karen Phillips purposely put out a deceptive picture in order to defame this kid and his family. Hopefully, the parents are already getting the papers ready to serve. I'll keep you all updated on the latest news. But for now, that's all I have. Thanks for watching and make sure to keep checking back.